Hello everybody, it is I, Killian, aka Kill the Frog. How annoying is this camera angle? I'm so sorry, I can't really get it straight today, um, but I'm not straight, so the camera doesn't get to be either, I suppose. Today, we are going to be doing a sketchbook tour. This is my newly completed seventh sketchbook. It is only 18 sheets, and I did rip a couple out, so it's going to be a short video. I will try to have interesting commentary, and I'll try to tell you the full origins of these works of art. It's a lot of sketching, a lot of trying um, to relearn art because I've been trying to do that. You may have seen a lot of these pages in other videos where I may have drawn them or given a short mini sketchbook tour of what I've completed so far at the beginning of the video, but we're going to be looking at it in its entirety and have some more insight on it. But let's get into this. This is a gouache painting. It's not the medium for me. I was expecting it to be more like watercolor. It was not. It was more like acrylics for me at least. Um, I didn't know how to use it though, so maybe I could give it a second chance on a better material. I didn't really do a good um, job of per, um, relaying depth in the picture. I could have pushed this forward with lighter colors and this backward with darker colors, but I did not do that. So the more you know, I still don't know how to draw the ocean. Why is this crooked though? That is so simple, but I made it crooked. Okay, whatever. Down here, I had to put a index card on here because I messed up the first time. As you can see, I started it on the first day of this year and I just now finished it on 4-10-2022. So here's the first page. It is posing. I wanted to do some above poses and then I just added everything else in. And I do not like using... Um, pencil in my sketchbooks for this reason. It looked really clean and then it started smudging the more and more I used this sketchbook. I did this on the first day of the year and I just really built up posing and this is a pretty bad pose. I could have done more with that. Same with this, the legs are pretty far off. I think that this one is pretty good and this is a step in the right direction. Let's turn this over. I did this on the second day of the year and I filled up the whole page with a lot of different drawings. I really like this upper half. I just kind of went wild with this and did whatever I felt like with just was scrolling through Pinterest and I was like oh there's a house there I'm gonna draw it and oh there's a rainbow there I'm gonna draw a rainbow in and sometimes I just you know felt my way through it and looked up stuff. I really wanted to draw paper planes so I drew paper planes and it just kept evolving and evolving and I should do another one of these because I really really like how it looks. So on this page, I did some trees, some forest scenes. I do like doing forest scenes a lot. I also like doing flowers. So here's a flower, here's a cake. I always struggle with the plates. And I also always struggle with the grass up here. But here's a tiny little flower that is so cute. And I also could have um, pushed again the depth, making it darker in the background, lighter in the foreground. I really like the strawberry in the flower though. The flower is just mwah, exquisite. Um, maybe if I don't look up close, it's pretty good. I'm just not gonna look up close. Here is an old fashioned car and a pocket watch. I actually really like the flowers on here. Again, I just really like flowers and no matter how bad I draw them, I just really like them. I like how I studied perspective with this car. It took a couple tries, but I think I got it to a relatively safe point. Maybe these aren't really aligned that well, but it is something I can learn and grow from. And I really had a fun time just drawing this car and of course this pocket watch as well. I love pocket watches. I actually really want to own one, but I'm actually moving into a new house soon. And one of my goals with my new room is to get a whole lot of clocks and set them to the wrong times. And some of them just won't work and they'll be out all at different times. And it's so confusing to guests, but I think it would be fun. I don't remember which of these I did first, but let's talk about this one because it's another forest scene and I did it in a video. We're getting into the couple of pages that I actually drew in a video. It is called Making Happy Accidents in My Sketchbook and you can see my whole thought process there, but um, it's really messy and what the heck. I could have spent so much more time making it look actually good, but instead I just sped through these pages, sketchbook pages, and I just got really frustrated and decided to not take them seriously and that really helped me draw these pages and complete that video. Oh, this is January 22nd, so there has been a big leap. I haven't been in this sketchbook for a while, but this was also in the video and here are some face shapes, though they're super duper subtle. I've actually started drawing my faces with a lot more of a jawline and I would love to do more face shapes and, you know, 
And here are some um, poses, and I don't know if they're supposed to be body types, because these two are the same body type, and this one basically has an hourglass. They bo all basically have an hourglass. This one's a little more pear-shaped, though. I did try doing some body shapes in Procreate recently, just some figure drawing, and I did a pear shape, an apple shape, and an hourglass shape, and those turned out a lot better than this. So, I have improved ever so slightly, even though I haven't been drawing anything. I think I've improved. I don't know. Maybe I'm just better on Procreate, where I can erase stuff and not with ballpoint pen, where I can't erase stuff. I would like to apologize for my voice. I'm having super bad allergies, so if you hear that little rasp, it is that. So the next thing we have here is a watercolor painting of a forest. So far we have a total of three forests in this. This one has little mushrooms and a little house. And I think if I had spent a little more time on this and the colors in the background because it's super muddy, then and actually like let it dry and stuff and maybe not let it buckle the way it did because I'm feeling it right now and it's just buckling ever so slightly. The paper's a little thin in places, but um, maybe if I'd taken a little bit more care with the line art, it would look a lot better, but you can th see my whole thought process again in that video and um, it, that will justify everything, hopefully. Also, you can see these scrapped little mushrooms on the side. Those were also in the video. You can still see them, so mission of covering them up failed. Ooh. Yeah, I kind of went crazy on this one. Again, just, just watch the video. I can't even describe it. So next, we have the last thing that I drew in this video. And it is a matcha ice cream that I found on, in, on Pinterest. I really like what I did with the pink around the outside. I think that just really pulls it all together. Though I would love to actually do this seriously. <laughs> this napkin just doesn't look right, though. It just doesn't look right. And the transition from the cone to the napkin also doesn't look right. This cone is a little too skinny. But I'm not going to criticize it too much. I'm just gonna try not to criticize it too much. So now I'm going to actually skip a page because I skipped a page in the sketchbook in the video and I, you know, yeah. So we'll skip the page on the other side, come back to it in a second. Here's the last page that I did in that video. I decided to do some sketches of noses and eyes and um, this is how it turned out. There's some funny faces in there and I really like this page actually because there are some actually good noses and then there's that and whatever that is now let's cycle back to this page Woo! so this one is in february 7th 2022 and i really like how i did the legs here i might just have to simplify it that way and again love the flowers i love when i draw flowers because i just love how a flower looks no matter how good or bad it is but i've actually done more on the face and what the heck is that but i do really like this page i i do like purple as well so bonus points for the purple here is the next thing that I drew in my sketchbook. Now this one does have a story. I was watching a YouTube video by an artist. I don't know what the artist was, but in the background there was a painting and I couldn't see exactly what it was, but I thought it was lily pads. And I thought, wow, what would it, wouldn't it be cool if there was a small person having a picnic on a lily pad and looking out over the view of other lily pads. So I quickly sketched this and I do intend one day to make this into an actual finished art piece rendered and all. This is another just idea sketch, though it wasn't as strong an idea. This is supposed to be a bird. I do need to fit, um, practice drawing birds. And again, I don't like pencil because it makes it look moldy. This was another idea sketch on the 22nd. Gosh, I forgot that there were three. And yeah, I think I was gonna do something crazy with the person here. Maybe she, like they're moving or looking straight into the, your soul who knows but this was also not as strong as that first idea sketch so here i decided i was going to make some christmas cards and here are my ideas for christmas cards <laughs> happy birthday jesus um i actually saw this um happy birthday jesus on a sweater at the thrift store i couldn't afford the sweater because i'd already decided on buying some other stuff but i thought it was hilarious and here's a valentine's day card and I really love this puffer fish, and these are so cute. So here is some birthday card ideas. So on the other side, I have some Easter, and I was like, okay, what can I do for Easter? I could draw some cute bunnies and stuff, but I couldn't come up with anything creative. So it is now almost Easter. It is two days before Easter, and I have not made Easter cards, and I don't plan to, unfortunately, even though I do love making holiday cards. Oh, here's what I gave to my friend, except it was a blueberry instead of a strawberry. And here is a sketch for the bee. Just wanted to um, figure out how to use my brush pen again. Also, I got these pins 
they are all sparkly and you will be seeing a lot of them in the next pages so as i said the pens i decided i had like five of them and i decided i was going to do a page of sketches with each colored pen these are a lot of figure skating poses because i do skate as a hobby i'm not very good but again lots of figure skating and dance ballet poses you'll see there here is just some house again love drawing these houses almost identical to the one on the second page or third page whichever one next page here is this one i dropped tea on it here's the cat that i hated when i tried drawing the cat eyes i just couldn't get it down and here is a girl with a dress you can't really tell and here is a bowl with flowers and water in it and i really like this flower and i really like this potion vial sort of thing and this cabin in the woods here I have another vial because I do like drawing those. And this is some sort of cake maybe. Uh, again, love flowers. Love that. That is random but really cute. Um, and I drew someone running through the woods, which I love. I aspire to be that. Here is the last page drawn in these pens. I did another figure skating pose, some onigiri because I wanted it, and an eye. And this. So why is there an egg? This is just a random egg. And here's where I decided to practice drawing stars. Just, you know, freehanding stars all along the page, testing out some colored pencils, swatching that. And then I started practicing drawing. So I decided to redraw. I actually filmed all of this, but then I was like, no, I'm just not gonna release this. It's just hard to film um, my drawing art journey, so I'm not going to. And here's a redraw of a Little Red Riding Hood drawing that I did when, like years ago. I will pop up a picture right here and I didn't do the background and I just didn't like how it looked. I was in the middle of a mental breakdown but this was my starting point and I decided I made a list of things that I need to practice in art. I made a list of those things and then I practiced them. So we have some posing. I studied some anatomy after this. Don't worry my other stuff isn't that bad. And then I did some stuff on procreate and I decided to practice on some arms. And here's where I decided to start drawing eyes and faces. So I really, really like how this looks, especially that eye. It is just amazing. I like the placement of the eyelashes on it and how I did this, the both the um, highlights. I liked how I did them as squares. And I also like the eyelashes on this one. I really like all of them though. And then I decided to redraw the Red Riding Hood once again. And there we go. It's a lot more anatomically correct, although still cartoonified, still need to work on the feet. And this was done April 10th. It is now the 15th. So only five days ago. This is rather recent. Again, the sketchbook was completed really recently. And then I decided to start drawing someone and never finished it. And that's the end of the sketchbook. Thank you for watching this video. I hope to see you next time. Have a great day. Like and subscribe.